Hello, good afternoon. Yes, uh, Today, my topic is Robert Browning, his lifestyle and his work. So, I am sharing the screen. Is it visible? His early life, he was born in Walworth in parish of Camberwell, Surrey, in, um, which is now the form, forms part of the borough of the South Wark in South London. He was born or baptized in the 7th May. He was born on 7th May 1812, but he was baptized in June at the Lockfield and in Independent Chapel at uh, York Street, Walworth. He is the only son and uh, only son of Sarah Ann and Robert Browning beside his sister. His father was a well-paid clerk at the Bank of England. Robert's father was a, was a literary collector. He had a library of over 6,000 books. So Robert, uh, Robert Browning never, get, never go to school, but he, he self-educated uh, and tutored by by his father and uh, used used the the resources of his father's library his mother was he and he was very close his mother was a talented musician i guess a pianist his younger sister sister sariana also was gifted become her brother's companion in later year after the death of his wife in 1861 by the age of 12 Browning had written book, books of poetry, which later destroyed because of want of the publisher. He disliked school and educated uh, from the resources of his father's family. By 14, he was flu fluent in French, Greek, Italian, and Latin. At, uh, at, uh, at the age of 16, he studied Greek at University, University College London, but he left he left after first year. He had inherited substantial musical in ability through his mother and composed an arrangement of various songs. He refused the former career and ignored his parents. And he stayed um, at home until the age of 35 and, and final, financially dependent on his family until his marriage. Marriage in the year 1854, he met Elizabeth Barrett six year his senior and and they are started meeting privately and and then later on they get um, ma married privately because of the uh, mrs Barrett, um, uh, elizabeth barrett's father mrs mr barrett um, barrett was a uh, very strict and also he he had this this heritage elizabeth elizabeth elizabeth's Elizabeth and and the two other childrens. Browning first was a work was a Pauline, a fragment of a confession. It was published anonymously in 1833. Originally, Browning considered Pauline as the first of his written different written in by different aspect of himself, but he soon abandoned this idea. He received a moder modest reviews, but introduced him as a poet in literary circles in criticism on Pauline a fragment of confession in 1833 John Stuart Mill criticized Browning's very first poem of Pauline, of Pauline. he claimed that uh, it exposed the author's intense and morbid self-consciousness this criticism criticism affected Browning's writing throughout of throughout the middle of his career because um, whatever uh, Stuart Mill said, he, he particularly meant that um, Browning was a was a depressed uh, person. His anxiety led Browning to try distance himself from from his poetry, but his intense and morbid self consciousness still made it its way through the readers. Beside poetry, 
He tried his skill in playwriting and presented a Stafford in 1837 and Bells and Pomegranate in 1841. This attempted, uh, these attempts did not bring him the desired su success they, that he wanted to. This, but this brought a commercial and critical success in his uh, writing in 1869. His dramatic person and ring of the book earned him a spot in the circle of Victorian poets. Shelley's influence. Browning was influenced by Shelley a lot. So Browning's early writing and and it and many of his poems are reflected the Shelleyan writing. So he longed to be a great poet like a, like a Shelley. So he patterned him in his early writing. He grew up in home with an immense library with, which became his greatest source of knowledge. In his essay on Shelley, Browning pondered if Shelley writing, Shelley's writing career was incomplete. So, so Browning writing, uh, writes, it was the dream of my boy who to render to his fame and memory. Pauline appears to be a, a testament to the greater greatness of Shelley. His style, Robert had established his career first as a poet and then as a playwright. His work on one global recognition marked by elusive imagination, symbol, symbolic structures, dramatic monologue, a blend of dark humor and irony. Robert successfully used dramatic monologues techniques which enable the readers to see an event using the character's eyes. He explored the beauty of real world using the artistic techniques in his poems Fra Lippo Lippa and Victor Ignacio. The recurring themes in most of his poems are loss, love, relationship between art and mort mort mortality, politics, religion and society. Use of dramatic monologues. Robert Browning, who is pro praised for his handling of the dramatic monologue, is a dramatic philosophical and metaphysical poet he is the most ambitious and successful write, writer of the dramatic monologues in english his super creation men men and women contains 50 drama, dramatic monologues which are written in blank verse what is monologue dramatic monologue this poem the poem which has, has a speaker and silent listener or silent listener may be called a dramatic monologue. The speaker reveals his thought in front of silent listener. The listeners remain silent all through the poems, but infers him a, his presence from what the speaker says. The speaker's utter, utterance is a response to an occasion or event of crucial importance in his life. Examples of dramatic monologue. Browning's brief dramatic monologues include soliloquy of the Spanish Cloister, the laboratory, and the Porphyria's lover. Several important longer dramatic monologues, which appeared in po poets' collection, Men and Women, are Fra Lippo Lippa, Bishop uh, Blogram, Blogram's Apology, and um, Andrea del Resarto. His crowning achievement in the style are dramatic monologues he wrote um, for his. For his acknowledged masterwork, The Ring and the Book, which is published uh, for installment in between uh, 1868 to, to 1869. His impact on future, his distincting writing approach and unique way of expression made his, him stand among the best Victorian poets. His thought, thoughtful ideal ideas influenced many great poet, poets and writers including Robert Frost, Ezra Pound, and T.S. Eliot. Eliot, he successfully documented his ideas and feelings in his writing that even today writers try to imitate his unique style, consider him a beacon for writing plays and poetry. Uh, many critic, uh, many writers have all, all, all already criticized and praised him for is a uh, difficult uh, style of writing and uh, use of vocabulary. Um, many of them are, are 
Ezra Pound, GB Shaw, GK Chesterton, Chesterton, and uh, Valdemir Nobopo. And um, uh, among the living, the Stephen King's uh, the, the, the Darkest Tower uh, is, um, is reflect, reflected in Browning. These are his best, best poems and uh, other works. So thank you. So, Anil, you just explained Robert Browning, and yeah, okay, yeah, you just explained Robert Browning. He was writing his works. So, uh, I find that there is a mention of a poem or a dramatic monologue, rather, it is Stali Polipi. So, in that, uh, in that uh, uh, work, that the protagonist is a kind of a boy who was brought up in a, a, a church atmosphere. But now he wants to enjoy the uh, juice of life or enjoy the life. And he flies away from the church and tries to, you know, uh, exercise his freedom. So what do you think that uh, imposing religion or beliefs upon a child, is it fair or not? That now in India, we find that the, uh, the father or mother, are, they are taking their children uh, forcefully that come and bow down to so and so thing and do this and this. So is it fair? Do you think that the child should be imposed with these beliefs or kind of things? So do you think? No, I don't think child should be imposed because uh, their parents should give them some freedom to explore himself in this world. Yes, thank you. Which work is Robert Browning use? Dramatic mm -hmm. monologues. Browning used men, dramatic monologues in many of his works, um, like a Pauline, and ma many of them are so Fra Ali Polipi, uh, um, and most of his uh, his works are dramatic monologues. 